Alright, hello and welcome everybody back to another Flight Sim Fan video. I know it's been a long time. I've uh, just been busy with uh, work and things, so I haven't really been able to make really a lot of videos, but I'm back. And today I'm making an update video on the OpenXR, how to get installed. Been a lot of comments about um, that the old video is not up to date, and you're right, and that's why, that's why in the title of the old video I said not up to date. So we're going to make a new one. It's actually a lot easier now. Uh, I'll pull up the old video here, and in the description of it, by the way, my specs haven't changed. Uh, in the description of it, I have the OpenXR guide. I would always start here, and the Discord for Open, uh, OpenXR is also, the VR Discord is also very helpful as well. But the OpenXR guide will start there. Uh, basically, you can pretty much follow this step, step by step. It's pretty clean cut and dry uh, for it to work. So again, step one is clean DCS. If you don't know how to clean or repair DCS, um, for me personally, I go to, I just type in DCS down here and I get a repair DCS. If you don't get that, uh, it might be in your bin folder, but if you still don't get that, I would search on Google, uh, repair DCS CMD. And there's usually a lot of guides on how to do it with the command prompt. Uh, and that usually gets you through. So that's a way to clean up DCS repair. If you don't have any mods or you're brand new installed, you probably don't need to clean or repair. Uh, but that, that's what you'd set it to after. So check all files, slow, it'll take a while, and search extra files to repair. After you're done with that, you're going to download an, uh, the latest release of OpenXR tools. So to do that, you go to the Microsoft Store, which I don't have down here. So let's see if it's here anywhere. No. Microsoft Store. Take a little bit. Okay, and you go here, you just type in simply open XR. And you're gonna grab this guy right there, open XR, tools for Windows Mixed Reality. You press download or it remains open. You'd be presented with this window. I have clicked use latest preview open XR runtime, customized render scale, and I set mine to a hundred. Take note Native resolution for the Reverb G2, I should mention this is for the Reverb G2, it should be about 50. Um, so it's because uh, the resolution is 21 by 60, which should be set at 50%. Running this at 100 is upscaling the resolution to the best of my knowledge. So uh, mine's upscaled to look nicer. So if you're starting to get a lot of lag, you just start bringing that guy down a little bit. You'll have to close the game, bring this down, restart the game. Maybe you might as well restarting DCS. Uh, sorry, restarting um, Mixed Reality as well. Motion reprojection, I have automatic. I find I have the best smoothest on the headset when I have automatic set. Um, disabled gets choppy sometimes. So for me personally, I like automatic. You can do anything you like on that though. <clears throat> That's done, you close that. Uh, next, you're gonna have to install Open Composite. So we'll click this link. I'll make this bigger so you can see. Scroll down here, you should see configuration, da, da, da. should be an install section somewhere. Go back up, there, pre installation, installation, system-wide installation. You click Download Open Composite Launcher, and you'll be brought with a file like this. I just extracted it to my desktop, because you're going to need it quite a bit. Right-click Open Composite, run as administrator. And you get this tab. It says switch to SteamVR or switch to Open Composite. You're going to want to be clicked where it says switch to Open Composite. This should be grayed out. So you, shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't be able to click this anymore. You want it to be set to Open Composite. Uh, if, it says, if it says switch to Open Composite and you want to click it, that's, uh, you're still on Steam. So you want to make sure that you've clicked switch to Open Composite. <clears throat> Anytime there's an update, I actually just did one today, it'll appear down here. It'll say update now. You won't really get a notification for this, so I'd probably check every month or so. Um, once you're done that, you're going to go down and clear our mixed reality settings. So we'd start mixed reality, which might change, might change my, um, recording. So I'm going to leave it and just show you the pictures they have here. Um, you can kind of just copy what they use, but the basic things is on startup and desktop settings, mixed reality, then you go to the settings tab, it should be at the bottom left of the three dots and then settings. Startup and desktop, you want to make sure all of these are unclicked. <clears throat> Uh, especially the Steam VR one, uh, and it's set to manually input switching. Uh, I find if I leave mine automatic, where basically if in automatic mode you put your helmet your your helmet on, 
it senses your face, the screens turn on. That usually breaks DCS for me. I leave it on manual, so the screens turn on all the time, or on all the time, no matter if I take my headset off or on. <clears throat> Lastly, it's a good idea to do a clear environment. So clear the environment data by pressing clear. It's going to ask you to recalibrate the headset by pressing Windows Y, looking left, looking right, looking down until it calibrates. It'll give you all these instructions in the headset as well. Uh, but it's Windows Y, look left, look right, look down. Uh, for today, we're going to skip the OpenXR Tools Toolkit, uh, but uh, there is obviously this manual on how to do it as well. Uh, other than that, it game should, sorry, I should say open, uh, we're going to skip the toolkit, not the tools, the tools we installed. <laughs> uh, but other than that, that should be it to install and have the game working uh, in OpenXR. The toolkit, we'll do it a little bit later. Uh, but the game should start in OpenXR, not SteamVR by this point. If you have any problems, again, the Discord in the description that I'll make in this new video will be to the VR Discord. Uh, you can always leave a comment. I can help as much as I can, although I didn't make this system uh, or the guide. Uh, and again, the guide's always there to refer to. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.